This is the Acer Chromebook Spin 314 launched back in 2022. It's a fully convertible 14 inch Chromebook with a full HD IPS touchscreen. You may have seen my original short or TikTok from when I ordered this at the start of September and I'm now ready to give you my full review. From the other reviews you'll have seen on the channel you'll know I'm generally a fan of the older non-convertible 314 and I'm a big fan of the smaller Spin 311 so combining the convertible nature of the Spin into the larger 14 inch form factor along with a newer processor and updates sounded pretty promising to me. I paid £170, that's about 206 US dollars for this Chromebook as a grade A refurb and it arrived in what looked like brand new conditions showing zero battery cycles and coming with the original box and charger. Being the 314, the 3 series means it's an entry level Chromebook but you'll see as we go on I'm really pleased with the build quality and the decisions Acer have made with this one. As you'd imagine, it's an all-plastic build, but it feels pretty solid in a positive way, and it weighs in at a fair 1.52 kg. That's about 3.36 pounds. It's running 64-bit Chrome OS, and thanks to the recently extended AUE dates from Google, this one's going to get updates to Chrome OS all the way through to June 2031. If you haven't seen my video covering those recent extensions, I'll link that in the description. This one has got the Pentium Silver N6000 processor, and there's also options out there with the Celeron N4500. I've got 128 gig of storage on this one, but there are some with 64 gig, and it's got 4 gig of RAM, but again, you've got options out there with up to 8 gig, so do check all these things over. It's also Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5 certified. Port-wise, connectivity is decent. Over on the left-hand side, there's USB-C for power data and display out. There's a USB-A port, a headphone jack, a microSD card slot, and the power button with a built-in LED indicator. On the right side, you've got a physical volume rocker, a second full-size USB-A port, an HDMI port, and a Kensington lock port. Sadly, no second USB-C port, but I guess they've given you that HDMI port in its place. If you're finding the video useful, please consider giving it a like to help it reach a wider audience, and you can sub to the channel for more Chromebook content like this. The display is a strong point for me. It's a full HD touchscreen, stylus compatible, but sadly doesn't come with one, so I'm using one from my Asus detachable here. And of course, of course, this Chromebook's fully convertible form factor lends itself to being used in tablet mode. It gets nice and bright. I couldn't find an official number from Acer on it. I'd imagine they may claim it's somewhere up to 300 nits. Do be careful if you're looking to buy this Chromebook as there are some model variations without the full HD screen. They'll just say HD ready and have a resolution of 1366 by 768. Display out also worked really well with my pluggable dock. I could run dual 1080p monitors with extended displays. And of course, it would support using the Chromebook itself as a third monitor too. At the top of the display, you'll find the 720p webcam. Sadly, it doesn't have a privacy slider control and there's not much to shout about here. The keyboard though does feel nice to type on with medium key travel. Most models like mine won't be backlit, but checking the US spec page, it looks like there is a less common option for that. The trackpad is pretty standout. It's large, it responds well, and although I don't think it's glass, Acer brand it as ocean glass, which seems to mean it's made from what Acer say is 100% ocean-bound plastic, but I guess calling it ocean plastic trackpad didn't sound as good. Regardless, it's a really decent feeling and responding touchpad and feels well put together. Performance of the Spin 314 has been decent. You can see games here like Fortnite running just fine with the Pentium Silver N6000. And I found that general performance has been really good as well, say with 10 plus tabs open and the occasional Android app. When pushing it a bit and using the Chromebook on my lap, I did notice it feeling a little hot sometimes through the bottom plastic, but you may partly expect that with a fanless design and plastic build. Link to this, battery life has also been good. I've usually got into the second day of light usage before feeling the need to charge it. As you saw a minute ago, there's no grills or vents on the bottom of the Chromebook, so thankfully the speakers are on the keyboard deck. Much better positioning for upwards firing sounds, and it's pretty decent. I'm not sure if the DTS branding has anything to do with that, but here's an example. If you're considering this Acer Chromebook Spin 314, I'd definitely recommend you check out the competition, in particular the HP X360 14B Chromebook. You can see my review here. On paper, it's a very similar Chromebook, 14 inches, fully convertible and the same Pentium Silver N6000 processor. Let me know what you think.